everybody, it's me, Nana. We're going to be working on the trellis garden today. Yes, a trellis garden with a gnome habitat. That's the surprise here. But isn't it cute? It's going to be simple. We just need some foam. We always need foam, right? Different sizes. We'll need the garden rocks. We'll need uh, the garden uh, owl who says hello as everyone comes in. These are the deal of the week lights. And those are the garden windmills with bunny and chicken. Isn't that cute? Stones for the pathway, white and green. And then, of course, our habitat. A gazebo. Isn't that cute? And then a park bench, complete with butterfly. A bridge with a little bluebird. Isn't that cute? And, of course, everyone needs some comfort. <laughs> I like that building the most, right? Then we have our little garden people, the bird. And I'm not sure if that's just flowers. Our signage, again, a bird with a little faucet and fairy crossing. Nice little habitat, right? Toadstools, gotta have toadstools for the toadstool house. We have our frog and our snails. They're just the friends of the gnomes. And of course, our gnomes. Today, the gnomes are the real stars in the fairy garden. They're the ones who take care of the gardens, right? They're the ones who make sure that they grow properly. And our fairies, well, they take care of the gnomes. So it works out. Great little habitat. I hope you find all the fairy garden figurines that you need for this project. They may be running low soon. Here's our Victorian manor. <laughs> I remember this one. It's one of my favorites. Seems like a nice place to stay. What do you think? And then the thatch roof. Uh, it reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. What do you think? I love that thatch roof, but I'm not sure it would be very nice in the summer. Seems like it might be a little bit hot to live there. <laughs> but it's cute anyway, all the way around. I think they did a good job. And here's everyone's favorite the toadstool house. Who wouldn't like to live in a little toadstool house? If you think about it and give let your imagination fly, it would probably look pretty cute in there. Everything is just perfect. I think I got a really good one here, complete with all the accoutrement that you would want to decorate a toadstool house. Okay, so now we're going to get our greenery for the trellis. We have cattail and we have onion grass. I chose this again for the fronds. We have two different kinds of cattail, uh, one more discernible than the other. And then I got a wild idea, right? I decided to make some Mod Podge. That's two parts glue and one part water. I got a uh, coffee filter and some iridescent glitter. <laughs> the idea here is that I don't have a whole lot of light, right? So if I put some glitter on the top of the um, roof, I might get a little glimmer shimmer uh, from the little bit of light that's there onto the rooftops. Yes, yes, I know. <gasps> I'm just trying to get the most uh, that I can. Now, once this dries, the Mod Podge will be uh, clear, but there will be some shimmer left behind. I know, I'm, 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 I'm really grasping here, but you know, whatever it takes to create magic, right? <laughs> anyway, the gazebo didn't uh, fare much better. It, it, it got my Mod Podge as well. So now I'm just getting the greenery onto the trellis. And uh, you know I like fronds. And the onion grass is perfect. I do plan on putting some real plants in there sometime around the summer when uh, it's uh, going to be better as far as sunshine. But for now, we're putting our poor little uh, trellis through the ringer with this uh, yeah, fronds. <laughs> I, 
I'm attaching it with the pipe cleaners, making sure to leave enough room on the pipe cleaner to add the cattails. I don't want a whole lot of that stuff. And of course I ended up having to perform surgery with my Aileen's Tacky Glue because the uh, cattails are very delicate, which does not bode well for the first rain, if you know what I mean. <laughs> But it's full steam ahead at this point. There's no turning back. I'm not quite sure what I've gotten myself into, guys, but uh, here we go anyway, right? So I'm putting on this modified cattail. It looks more like, I don't know, chicken liver? <laughs> but uh, I've also got to get somewhere to put our houses. And you know me, I like uh, height. So the thatch roof will again be center stage. We're putting it on a uh, taller base. That just means uh, a little bit of hot glue and a lot of Spanish moss and then some darker Spanish moss for a delineation between the uh, actual common area and each individual yard, so to speak. So everybody gets some kind of yard accoutrement and uh, that means wheelbarrow and flowers. And this one for the uh, toadstool house, again, will give some delineation to a yard and a common area. He'll get a toadstool and the bird bath. That seems fair, don't you think? I'm going to glue them onto that little piece of foam and glue down the toadstool as well as the bird bath. I wanted to make sure that uh, everything looks kind of natural for an unnatural habitat. <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing all I can to uh, make sure that everyone gets uh, equal billing. Again, here we are with the manor house. A little bit of glue goes a long way with Spanish moss. If you just put a little bit on there, it uh, sticks on pretty well. And we didn't have to worry about height for the manor house. It pretty much uh, is gonna stay down at the bottom. So I gave them the, uh, green, uh, the greenery as well as the, um, the green frog, excuse me as well as the um, faucet. Gave him some bushes instead of a tree, but then I remembered, uh-oh, tree. <gasps> I forgot to put the tree on the thatch house, so the thatch house is gonna get a nice tree, and so is the um, toadstool house. They always look better when they have a tree, and I use the white rock to create the illusion of a little garden. The white flower tree will be for the toadstool house, again, with little rocks holding it in. And then I decided each house needed a path. And I used the green uh, stones for that. I didn't want to use the white rock this time because it didn't seem to be uh, the right size, a little bit too big for the size of the people as well as the yards. And look at me cutting grass, right? So here I thought I was going to be a construction worker and I made a wall <laughs> uh, that would hold in my stones. That didn't quite work, but I still kept pushing to try it. And again, that didn't work. I added more uh, hot glue and that didn't work. So <laughs> I ended up pulling the whole thing apart and starting over again. So I started all over again, and this time I cut the grass out. I went ahead and used the little piece of cardboard as my base. I put a few layers of hot glue onto uh, the cardboard and the rock. It still didn't look the way I wanted it to, but you know, let's move on. Potting soil, Dollar Tree. And we start with the trellis. Once we get the trellis in, we've got the thatch, the thatch roof house. And 
I believe it's going to actually be the manor house that is next. Yep, we put the manor house in. And then it slowly but quickly and surely got its pathway, its garden rock. And then we're going to put the white rock in to finish off the look once we put our lights in. I apologize for the poor uh, recording at this point. We just kind of got everything uh, in there and I'm doing it one-handed. So anyway, it looks as good as I thought it would, but I'm just going to leave you here as I finish up. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try something similar, but until next time, keep it whimsical, keep it happy and even when it's gnomes, give them some color. Have a great evening. I'll see you soon. Bye now.